This is Matthew Cratter's Bitcoin University. Today, I want to talk about some possible Bitcoin knots, wallet bugs. And this is a follow up to the last few days of videos. We've been talking about the bugs present when you migrate a wallet in Bitcoin Core. So I'll put a link to all these videos in the description notes below so you can catch up. Basically, one of the Bitcoin Core devs last year joked about Bitcoin devs nuking the wallet and people losing money. And then the unfortunate thing is that actually ended up happening earlier in January of this year, wallet migration bug present in Bitcoin Core Wallet version 30 and version 30 Point one, and some people have actually lost their wallets because of this bug. Dan Dactyl writing here, I lost my wallet file because of this stupid stuff. So I'll put a link to all these videos in the description notes below. But I wanted to respond to a highlighted comment here from Tom Ray 2935, where he writes, Core 30 has two similar wallet deleting bugs. The first appears during migration, i.e. wallet migration introduced in Core 30. The second exists in the Bitcoin wallet tool already present in Core 29. Knots 29 has only one of these bugs, but it's the exact same one in the Bitcoin wallet tool inherited straight from Core 29. For that reason, Knots also has a bug that deletes all wallets. You know this perfectly well, yet as usual, you conveniently forget, forgot to warn your users because you're either negligent, dishonest, or simply too corrupted by your own agenda to care whether people lose their Bitcoins. User safety clearly isn't your priority. All that matters to you is pushing your narrative. Core bad, not good. Facts don't matter, users don't matter, and catastrophic bugs don't matter. As long as your image as a self-appointed Knots evangelist remains intact, in reality, Knots missed the very same catastrophic bug, just like Core did. You can ban me as many times as you like. I've actually never banned this guy, as far as I know. I'll keep coming back to remind people who you really are, a biased, corrupted propagandist pretending to care about users and software quality while ignoring a wallet-deleting bug that exists in Knots just as much as in Core. I responded to his comment two days ago, this bug is only present in knots if you do advanced command line stuff. By contrast, Core will delete your wallet if a regular migration fails. Stop trying to muddy the water. This bug comes from Core to begin with. So I wanted to review Luke's posts on this topic. This was from January 5th, 22026. Looks like pull request 32273 is the bug fix that exposed Core to the worst data loss causing bug. This PR was not merged into knots yet. I'm now fairly confident that Bitcoin knots is not impacted by the Core 30 wallet deletion bug. So that was January 5th of 2026. And then there was a recent update yesterday from Luke, an update on this thread for full clarity. There are now a total of eight new bugs which can cause wallet deletion or corruption. My initial comment, he's referring to this initial comment. My initial comment applies only to the initial severe bug that affects people using Core 30 normally. Bitcoin Knots is, however, impacted by six of the other bugs which are not triggered by normal end users, as I mentioned in this comment a couple days ago. Three of these are quote unquote power user functionality, moving wallet files around manually, creating unexpected files in the wallet directory, or using the Bitcoin wallet command line tool. One of them requires a low level disk file system OS problem during shutdown. The remaining two are unrealistic to trigger at all, but hypothetically possible if you start the node software again immediately before it finishes shutting down within milliseconds or have multiple wallets in the same directory, one of which has recent changes, the node crashes or has a power, power failure. You start the node again and not open the recently modified wallet, open the other wallet and shut down cleanly. All six of these issues will be fixed in a new version of Bitcoin not soon. And then the really interesting thing he points out is some of these bugs have been inherited from Bitcoin Core from the really early days and no one up until this point, until Luke two days ago, has caught these regarding new bugs. Note that I mean newly discovered. At least one of these dates back to 2013 and version Core, uh, Core Bitcoin Core version Eight. This tells you a lot about Luke's genius that he's able to uncover bugs from 2013 that no one has spotted yet. If you're enjoying this video so far, just pause really briefly here to ask you to help to support this channel's educational mission. Hit the subscribe button. That does really help. Leave a like, leave a comment, question, suggestion for a future video, and share this video with a friend or family member. So we had some back and forth in the repo about fixing this bug. This is Luke Dasher talking with A. Chow. Luke writes, if the wallet originally was in the wallet directory directly, 
will copy it over itself and then delete it. Why not just move the file here and never delete the backup? That sounds like a wise thing to me. HL responds, doing that breaks a bunch of tests and it got increasingly complicated to fix. So basically HL, who's one of the Bitcoin Core maintainers, gave up on fixing this problem just because it was too difficult. As Without Rulers points out here, two possible software development approaches, Luke, Dasher and Knots, why not just move the fire file here and never delete the backup? And then core response via HL. Doing that breaks a bunch of tests and it got increasingly complicated to fix. Core is neither competent nor trustworthy. And it turns out this advice of never deleting a wallet goes all the way back to Satoshi Nakamoto, who writes here, Sai, why delete a wallet instead of moving it aside and keeping the old copy just in case? You should never delete a wallet. And that's apparently something that A. Chow needs to learn. Ghost of Unhosted Marcellus writes here, nothing screams, quote unquote, we do deeply care about our users like, quote, we delete the old wallet dat after migration because keeping it around breaks the test suite and we can't be arsed to fix it. And Bob Burnett writes, OMG, the standard for one of the world's most important pieces of software needs to be immensely higher than this, not just saying that it's too hard to fix this bug. You can imagine Gloria saying here as Department of Efficiency writes, that's like your opinion and like who cares about wallet defects and like losing your life savings when you can now do amazing things like store arbitrary data in two buckets with our newest upgrade. Bitcoin Mechanic also points out in this latest video that bugs in software are inevitable, but that what really matters is the dev mindset when it comes to finding and fixing bugs. And as Mechanic points out in that video, an important part of this is having the humility to engage with actual users and take their concerns seriously, which is an approach that many Bitcoin Core devs have unfortunately abandoned. I'll put links to both of these uh, discussions that we've we've talked about before. This is Ellen Campus on September 1st, 2025, talking about how it's not a good idea to remove this functionality of the legacy wallets. And then this was an example where from three weeks ago, so even before Bitcoin Core version 30.1 was released, where there's a user here who was able to find this problem with migrating the legacy wallet and yet nothing was done about it. And Bitcoin Core version 30.1 still shipped after that. So this is a great example. If you go through here, you can see how Bitcoin Core doesn't really care about their users. This is something that, that Mechanic talks about in his latest video, as I mentioned. I'll put a link to this in the description notes below. It's called Major Bug Found in Core 30 and a Call to Humility. As he points out in that video, and as we all know, all software has bugs, but not all software is run by devs who care about end users as much as Luke Dasher does. And so I find it pretty ironic to watch Luke helping out users affected by this bug while Core remains in their ivory tower and off of Twitter. Here's Dan Dactyl saying, I lost my wallet because of this stupid stuff. And then here is Luke doing tech support for him. No backup. You might want to hit the power off on that machine immediately and try to seek data recovery services. And Bitcoin Core is nowhere to be found in the comment section. Note that all these bugs affect only the built-in wallet, the hot wallet in Bitcoin Core and Bitcoin Knots. And if you're going to do a migration and you do have, if you have been using that built-in wallet, which very few people use, you can simply back up the wallet before upgrading, which is always good practice anyway. You just go up to file and then do backup wallet. There's also a way of encrypting it before you export it. So you can check that out. If you're using your Knots node with a hardware wallet like Cold Card via Sparrow, as I've recommended, many, many times on this channel, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about even before Luke's next Knots upgrade because this only affects that built-in wallet in Knots. And by the next version, it will be fixed. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.